John 16, verse 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. This is the truth right here. What you are going through is not peculiar to you. People have gone through the same things. Jesus knows about this, and he is telling you one thing. He will give you peace. When all of these things happen to you, there is a place that you need to go, and that place is Jesus. The Bible says in Proverbs 18, verse 10, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it, and is safe. Where are you running to? Have you been leaving out Jesus? Have you been ignoring Jesus and then running to your neighbors? In everything you face in life, the first thing you do is go to Jesus. I know you have something that is bothering you right now. I know you are going through a tough time. I know that you are feeling like this message cannot help you or nothing can help you. I know you are feeling depressed. All of these things are things Jesus can solve for you. I have not seen anything that Jesus cannot do. I have not seen anything that Jesus cannot handle for you. He loves you, and he will never allow you to be destroyed by all of these troubles. Jesus will give you peace. You need that peace. You need that great peace that no one can understand. You need a solution to all your troubles. The only place to get it is Jesus. People are running around the world today to seek a solution. Sincerely, if you look at the things happening in the world, they are enough for one to lose hope. When you go to a place, you hear bad news. When you go to another place, it is full of bad news. Where should you go then? What should we do? What is the way out? This world is packed with enough frustration to go round. But those that trust in Jesus, those that go to Jesus, will receive mercy. There are many people today who do not have hope about their tomorrow. They have no hope about their business. They have no hope about their marriages. They have no hope about their family. They have no hope about their source of finance. All hope is gone. If you have been hopeless, Jesus is ready to give you hope. Jesus is here to give you greater hope and assurance of solutions to your problems. Jesus is here to make all things work out for you. Do you know what the Bible says? Isaiah 43, verse 29. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Maybe you have been in the dark for long, and it is blocking you from seeing hope. The light in Jesus will clear them away for you right now, and your eyes will be opened to hope. Jesus is doing a new thing. You need to look. The Word of God says, Behold, I do a new thing. Other translations used see or look. The reason you are feeling hopeless is that you are not looking. You are not seeing the new thing that Jesus is doing. You have to look. Look into that hopeless situation and see the hope. You must look. Lack of hope comes when the eyes are being blocked from seeing deeper into the things Jesus is doing. And that is why the Bible says, look. You have to look beyond this hopeless situation.
You have to look beyond the storm. You have to look beyond the challenges. You have to look beyond the sorrow. You have to look beyond the pains. You have to look beyond the frustration. You have to look and see the new things. If you do not look, you will not see. You will not even see Jesus in that situation solving it for you. You need to have Jesus in you if you want hope. If you want your life to start having meaning, if you want to be able to see beyond the problems, if you want to be able to see beyond the challenges, you must have Jesus in you. I bring to you the one that gives you hope, the only person that can make things all right for you. He has said that you should come to him if you are burdened, if you have been frustrated, if you have been depressed, you need to come to him. Stop staying far from him. He just wants to help you. He just wants to give you hope. He just wants to do a new thing in your life. Draw to Jesus and he will draw to you. Jesus is the only one that gives hope to the hopeless. Jesus knows you. He has not forgotten you in your life situation. Jeremiah 1 5, King James Version. Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Is there anyone on earth who knows you more than God? Your parents do not know everything about you. Your spouse does not know everything about you. Only God knows everything about you. God even knows your mistakes, your failures, your shortcomings, your faults, your weaknesses, your imperfections, and your inadequacies. Knowing all of this about you, God still loves you. No one can deny that this world is an abode of troubles, commotion, and problems. You meet these troubles, and it seems like no soul cares about your story. You have problems within, and you find it hard to tell people about them. You laugh with people and talk freely with people, but none of these people know the situation you are facing in your life. None of these people can boldly say that they will be there for you through whatever you face. Do you know why they will not always be there? It is because they have their own problems too. Now, who can help you with your problems? I want to remind you that God will always be there. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. He will not abandon you. This is the biggest problem with Christians I have found. The biggest problem of Christians is that they attempt to compare the love of a human being to the love of God. God is not a human being. God is not a person. This is such a big problem with Christians because so many people have been hurt by people who said they loved them. So many people have been disappointed by people that stated that they love them and they compare the love of God to that. Listen to me. God is not a man. God is not a person. The love he has for you cannot be comprehended. Yes, you may feel like you are going through this world and you are facing so many challenges and so many difficulties, but that's the world we live in. We live in a fallen world, a fallen world that is full of challenges and problems. But the God that loves you and cares for you, his child, is preparing a place of eternal peace and security, a place where you will never have to struggle again. Wouldn't you love that? never having to struggle again, never having to go through heartache or pain. But that is what the Lord Jesus is preparing for you. John 14, 1 through to 3. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. 
And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. God loves you. Get that into your head. And he is preparing a place for you. You won't have to struggle or have to cry or feel pain forever. God loves you. Stop. Stop comparing God's love to the love of people. Look forward to heaven. Look forward to heaven. You see, those problems you are carrying in your mind, and no one knows about them. Jesus knows everything. Jeremiah 1.5 says that before God formed you, He knew you. Maybe you don't understand. God knows you more than you know yourself. He knows already before you open your mouth to tell Him about your struggles. You might feel powerless and helpless in the situation you find yourself in. But remember, this God knows you. Maybe you are insignificant in your community, or no one knows you in church. Can I tell you the truth? No matter how insignificant you feel you are, God knows your name. Jesus knows each step you take in life. You are not unimportant to Jesus. He's watching over you.